It is time now for our latest edition of Tech Talk. We have Tony joining us from Josto Computers. Welcome back to the show, Tony. Thank you. Yes, uh, something my kids complain about a lot, and it's like a major panic and disaster if we don't have good Wi-Fi in the house. It's like a disaster for my 14-year-old. Yep. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, ways to improve your Wi-Fi, five tips on how to improve your Wi-Fi. Yes. So yeah, we get asked about that a lot. Um, everybody wants a good signal. Different parts of the house, um, you know, home routers, they cover most houses, but there can be things that can cause problems and um, positioning the router. So I, I have some pictures to yeah. show here. We'll get to the pictures in just a sec. Thank well, you very much, Fred. But quick question first. Yep, sure. Um, like my son swears there's dead zones in the house. Like and half there are, of my yeah. bed, like bad, half my bedroom. I even find it. If I'm on Facebook, I can't get on. But if I move to the other side of the bed, I can. Yep. What is that? Well, there's a lot of different things that can, that can influence where the signal goes, like walls, um, types of material, appliances, furniture, stuff really? that gets in the way. So um, like from the first picture here, if okay. you were to position the router, like you can see this one, it's over at the side of the house. So in the back corner there, that would sort of be like a dead zone. So where's the router? It's where the, the arrow is and okay, the green the in the corner. So that's like the strongest signal is over there. Um, if you were able to move your router, that's one of the best things you can do is put it in kind of a central location. So this house here, just kind of move it into the middle and then you'd have coverage everywhere throughout the entire house. And see like this one, mine is at the front of the house in a bedroom mm -hmm. and it's not its not a probably a great spot. Why don't the people who install that sort of think <laughs> sort of more centrally when they yeah. install? I mean, you know, it, there, there are a lot of factors. It's where it comes into the house. So sure. there is another solution for that. Um, Let's go to the next picture. Let's Maybe the this next is, one is And this is the solution right here. So the they make TV these, link. yeah, they make these repeat uh, or amplifiers or, or whatever you want to call them but basically this plugs in just plug it into the wall they're really easy to set up a lot of the times it's just a single button to press you press a button on your router and it just works and this will pick up the signal and rebroadcast it further That's down the yeah so down the hall you know or down into a basement or something like that it's a great way you so you just kind of put it where the signal starts to drop you still want to have a strong signal where you plug this in but then it'll amplify it how much are those? Um, anywhere from, there's cheaper ones, they start around $39, they yeah. go up from there. Okay. Um, different speeds and frequencies and that kind of thing. That's but, a good thing to have, a repeater. Mm -hmm. Look at this, okay, let's go to the next one. So again, you know, things that can cause the dead zones or, yes. or problems, interference from other devices in your house. So uh, this is just one example. Microwaves uh, can cause interference. So if this was your setup, depending on, you know, the layout of your home. Sure. If you had your router sitting on top of your microwave, somebody turns on the microwave, you could potentially lose internet connectivity or the signal could drop a lot. Yeah. Other things, baby monitors. Um, garage door openers, cordless telephones. So basically anything fighting with the first signal. Exactly. What about your TV remote? Uh, I think so, but not to that extent. Uh -huh. um, but anything that operates in that 2.4 spectrum can cause okay. interference. So Interesting. Uh, another thing you can do is the one on the left here, that's an older style router. Like wireless internet has been around for such a long time now. Yeah. If you got wireless internet in your home 10, 12 years ago, it's not really designed, or it wasn't designed for what people are doing these days. Yes. You know, with smartphones, tablets, laptops, mm -hmm. everybody's streaming Netflix, you know, doing things that didn't even exist when the older routers, the first generation routers first came out. So the one on the right is just an example of an upgraded newer router, all mm -hmm. sorts of antennas, stronger signal, Way bigger. more channels. Yeah, just better for a family setup. So. Yeah. Uh, and then this is another a little sort of trick you can do. This is a different device. This is called Powerline Ethernet. So um, you actually plug this device into a power outlet and it sends the internet from your router through the copper wiring of your home. So then you would plug another one in down in the basement or at the far end of the house and connect your computer to that. It's not really wireless, but it's a good way to get internet to those places where the signal just won't go for yeah, whatever reason. So. Fair enough. Fantastic. These are great tips today. This mm -hmm. is very useful. Useful yeah. for people who struggle like myself where I have dropouts and my son has panic attacks. Yes. Anyway, I appreciate it very much. Uh, these are some great options for you if you're looking at boosting up your Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have some questions though, you're not quite sure uh, which option is best for you or you've got a special situation you need to have somebody answer, uh, you can certainly phone Josto. You can also look them up online, jostocomputers.com. Quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.